I met my ex-husband at church. He was extremely handsome. He had a great smile and sweetness about his eyes. He was very kind and very compassionate. I fell head over heels in love with him. Sparks were flying and I was smitten. I got pregnant in November and then we got married in December. But then as the normalcy of marriage set in, he started to seem very restless. Sean always demanded things sexually. He was forceful with me. It was his way or no way. Even going to church, he was angry and upset. He would be in the shower and scream you at me. One time he put his hands around my neck and pushed me down into the bed and I instantly felt fear. Looking in his eyes, it seemed like a darkness there. When I found out Sean was cheating on me, I confronted him. He just packed a bag and he left. I remember vividly praying over him and our marriage, but there was no other option than to divorce. Sean started sending me some threatening messages. He told me he was going to put my family's names in a hat and he would start taking care of them one by one in the grand finale. He also said if he could not see his daughter, then no one was going to see her. I got a restraining order against Sean because I was afraid, but then things settled down and I felt like maybe it's okay to see him again. One night I was missing him and we got together. Then things got physical. He tried to rape me. That was the last time I saw Sean face to face. When I learned about Sean's arrest, I was in total shock. I could not believe it. It could have been me. For whatever reason, he did spare my life. You actually met Sean Gray at church, right? I did, yes. What appealed to you about him? He had a great smile, uh -huh. and he it was just very charming and kind. Yeah. Um, those are the things that drew me to him first. Was he outgoing? Was he exuberant? Did he engage you? He was not outgoing at all. I right. was one to try to welcome visitors, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So I would go up and shake his hand and say hi, but he was not one to even really come out of his pew. He was very, very quiet when I first met him. How did the first date take place? The first date was a singles activity at our church. At the time, he didn't have a license right. to drive, so I did stop and pick him up and bring him. Why did he not have a license to drive? He told me he had gotten in some trouble and he lost his license because of some things he did when he was a teenager, but at the time, that didn't really make any sense. But it was one of those things I was just trying to help him. Looking back, was that a red flag? Looking back, yes, that would have been a red flag, that he, he didn't have a job. Okay, so he's 35, says, I don't have a license because I got in trouble when I was a teenager? It just seemed to me that he had been into some trouble in the past. Yeah, did that scare you? It scared me, but at the same time, I didn't see that side of him. Right. I saw him coming to church. I thought he was trying to turn over a new leaf.